didn't even have to call to remind you. That's my Luger. Great, thanks! You make my life so much easier when you make your payments on time. Keep it up, okay? You and Julius live together, right? Just the two of you? Help! Uh, I mean the two of you and Rolo. So, the three of you. Yeah. Meow. That's just like me. Me and my daddy live together. When I was little, there was an old cat called Taddy that lived with us, too. Where do you live, Elle? <sighs> I promise we won't tell your enemies. I don't even know. The boat I was on stopped. And there were all these crates there marked to Triglav. I hid in one, and that's where I ended up. So you don't know how to get back home. Hmm. to find good help these days. Oh, hey! Over here! You guys looking for work? You bet. It's your lucky day. I've got jobs coming out the wazoo. I'm talking spurious corp orders here, so you know each gig is a gold mine. At least if you're not an amateur. Worth a shot, right? We'll back you up. <laughs> Thank you. 
If I must. Okay. Link up. Let's be sure to keep this up. Already?
Helping, not hurting. Seriously, does she?
I'm just glad we made it back safely. There's something comforting about coming back here. I certainly have vivid ones. This is where we came when we first arrived at Olympias. Everything about Triglef surprised me. Huh? Like what? Hmm. Well, for one thing, we'd been fighting on a different plane of existence when a rift opened up and we were sucked into it. What? The next thing I remember, I was waking up in a bed, surrounded by objects I'd never seen before. I was surprised by, well, how much there was to be surprised by. What surprises me is how happy you look when you're telling that story. Is this Julius's house? You live here, Rolo? So, now what? The cat's got a point. I think we're all running on fumes. Ugh, tomatoes are gross! <laughs> Why are garn so hot on tomatoes anyway? My daddy likes them, too. Thanks, Luger. It's so yummy! I feel like I'm eating at a restaurant. Hey, you cook as good as my daddy! Speaking of your father, Al, do you know where he is? No. Some scary men came to our house. I ran away by myself. <laughs> uh. 
That's why I'm going to the land of Canaan, so I can wish for my daddy to get rescued from those guys. Do pardon the intrusion, Luger. Mr. Bacor, I'm glad to see you're okay. I'm one of the lucky ones. No way. Surprise, phony! I guess not. Ivor. <laughs> You're quite an amusing little fellow, aren't you, Ivor? I could use a comic genius as one of my junior agents. <laughs> Thank you, sir. What's this all about? You haven't been watching the news, I take it. New details have emerged about the terror attack, during which a train was hijacked and then crashed into the Oscorp plant. The collision caused a massive explosion that ripped through the facility. More than 2,000 casualties were reported, including passengers and employees alike. Damages are said to exceed 10 billion gold, and experts estimate a final cost of at least 50 billion. Authorities identified the alleged mastermind behind the attack. An employee of Spirius Corporation, one Julius Kresnik. <laughs> what the? But Julius couldn't have... Couldn't have what? He attacked me at the scene of the crime for crying out loud. The police believe Kresnik didn't act alone. They're investigating persons of interest. Take a wild guess which person is the most interesting. Hey, me and Luger had nothing to do with those creeps! So the suspect's brother just happened to start his job at the station on the day of the attack. Then he vanished with the suspect. Coincidence? <laughs> Come on, you gotta believe us! If you're telling the truth, then prove it. Apprehend Julius, then the facts are sure to come to light. What? But, but the scary glasses guy... ...is alive and at large. He contacted the CEO's GHS several hours ago. Huh? He's one of my top agents and far too skilled to fall into police custody. Around his little brother, on the other hand, he just might let his guard down. Well, Luger, what do you say? If you agree to catch him, I'll at least keep the police from getting in your way. <laughs> A decisive lad. You've made the right choice. Luger... As of now, you are under Spirius Corporation's protection. We have a pair of promising leads. First, your brother made contact with a researcher in Helioborg named Balin. Second, sources allege someone in Marksburg has been asking a lot of questions about Julius. Balin? How am I supposed to remember all that stuff at once, huh? So you want us to check out Helioborg in Marksburg, is that it? You really expect to get paid before doing any work? Honestly, now, Luger. I thought Julius had raised you better than that. <laughs> Ivor, you never told me you knew Dr. Mathis. It's a long story. Hey, why are you going through all this trouble? I know the surface of this man, but that is not enough. Now, I must measure his depth. Luger seems like he's down on his luck. You and me will have to work extra hard to compensate. I never imagined that'd be how I'd run into Ivor again. How do you even know that freak? And why does he drop down on people like that? Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> how can you laugh about it, Luger? He knocked you on your butt like it was nothing. 
Uh, Ivor's a very skilled warrior. As Maxwell's handmaid, he had to be. Maxwell's handmaid? It's kind of a long story. I see. Sounds complicated. Yeah. It shouldn't have been, but it was. Even though we both wanted the same thing. Thank you.